Hello friends, here's another video by Software Junkie. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the topic of name mangling. Now what it is that it's the phenomena that explains how the compiler internally works out how to find the correct implementation of an overloaded function. In case of a simple function, it would simply be the matter of knowing the name of the function. Just the name would suffice to distinguish between different functions. But what if the function is overloaded? What if it has a common name but more than one implementation? In that case, identifying which implementation of the function is called and not simply be resolved by using the name of the function itself. I would be using C language to make a demonstration of name mangling. I would just write a simple hello world program but this time using a function. So it's just a simple program using a function. I would save it and then compile it. If you are wondering this hyphen C switch, it compiles the source code file but it does not actually link it so I would not be able to run it. There are these files a.c and a.o. This a.o file, this actually is the object code, uh, which is almost the machine language code, but uh, without absolute addresses and just having the offset values of the addresses. I would be using this a.o file to show uh, how internally the functions are represented in C language. As seen, this printf function is internally read as printf. The main function is like this and the FUNC like this. Uh, so there is no change in how these functions are represented internally by the compiler. Now watch when I overload this function. Now I have included this extra function here which is just overloading our previous function. I'll just save it and I will try to compile it again. So now this error that this previous definition of FUNC was here, it shows that overloading a function is not permittable in C language. So that is why there is no concept of name mangling in C language. Uh, whatever the name of the function we write internally, it is read as such. Name mangling is actually required when we have to overload the function. Let me change the name of the file from a.c to a.cpp to give it the C++ extension. Now let's just open the file. I forgot it was CPP extension. So it's the same file having two functions FUNC and FUNC with the integer argument. There's this stipulation in C++ that main function must return an integer value. So I'm just gonna change the return type of main rest of the program is same now i will just create the object code for this file as well now this a.o contains object code for the c++ source file not the c file as can be seen in the output here, the main function is represented as such, printf is represented as such. But what's interesting here is this FUNC. Let me just open the source file again. There are two different implementations of the same function that I wrote and to recognize these different implementations the compiler appends some characters to the function names. So this FUNC with the I prefix would be this function having the integer parameter and this FUNC with V prefix would be this FUNC with the void parameter. And this is what name angling actually is and this is done by the compiler internally so that it would recognize these different functions otherwise for the compiler there would be no way of knowing which implementation of this function 
is being called so now we know why name mangling is done by the compiler but what if you don't want the compiler to mangle your functions name let me just explain it with an example I have written this simple program and it would run because at runtime the loader would be able to find the implementation of the printf function now let's just try to run this program let's view the contents of the directory and this hello is actually the executable file for this print.cpp let's just try to run this and it's giving me this output I'm sorry I forgot to include a slash n character here so I'll just do that now so it's too simple alright but what if instead of including this line I would myself write the prototype of the function printf Would this run? No, it won't because now it's not able to find the implementation of the printf. And why it's happening? Because here we are referring to a function printf, and internally, what is happening that the compiler is changing the name of this printf function. So, obviously, at the runtime, it won't be able to find the implementation of this printf function because at the runtime, its name would be different. So, how would you resolve this problem? It can be resolved by using what's called an extern C block. For that, write this and enclose this prototype of the printf function within the extern C block. So now run this program and it's giving me the output. So what actually happened? I declared this within the extern C block and it prevented the name of this function to be mangled with. So I'm essentially telling the compiler that the name of this function would be printf and it should not be mingled with. And this is actually how the prototyping of this printf function would be within the stdio.h file. It would be within the stern C and it is done to let the compiler know that this printf is a C function and not a C++ function and its name should not be mangled with. I hope it's clear now that how over loaded functions are identified by the compiler internally and that would be all for today thanks for watching